I got involved with this project when CNCF called me and asked if I would assist on the restoration project. Um, basically I'm a civil engineer and um, I worked on this project as an advisor on the structural issues. Um, when we first got involved with the project, um, the structure was, uh, had some problems, especially in the foundations. So I looked at the foundations, looked at the whole um, building and gave a report to CNCF on what I thought would need to be re um, repaired and restored. Um, we then got involved with um, Steve um, from Phoenix who actually helped us um, obtain some of the natural or the um, indigenous woods that was used on the building. Uh, some of the items we've done was to actually shore up the footings, um, install new hurricane straps, uh, reinforce the floors, reinforce the walls where they were cracked, um, and basically bring the structure to a standard where it actually stopped leaking and it could be used again for uh, restoration purposes. Our first concern here was that um, we wanted to do a really thorough job in preserving a traditional Caymanian house. And over the last 40 years, we've seen them go under the bulldozer from time to time as we have our, what we call progress, for better or worse. And um, most Caymanian houses that have been saved over time uh, have been remodeled, modernized, and uh, not truly restored. So this was to be the first one. We chose to go by uh, international standards uh, of restoration and try to stick to that as well as we possibly could, uh, as closely as we could. And this corner is a good example of that because this is old wattle and daub. It's, a, it's made of wood woven in and out with the center post here and uh, anchored at both ends. And then it's plastered over with lime plaster. There are two cisterns here. There's the north cistern there, which was in operation during Miss Lassie's later life. And there's the south cistern, which had fallen into disrepair. And um, the original foundation was still there. The cistern itself was all there. But all of this top, this was all missing. So what we did is, uh, based on what we know from other cisterns, old cisterns on Cayman, including this other one, uh, we took materials from Miss Izzy's schoolhouse, again, that we had stored after that had collapsed, and we uh, built this section here new, even using old hinges that we'd found on site, so that this would be very, very much in keeping with um, what might have been done here. And then on top, we put on modern zinc, uh, what it likely would have looked like at the time. The only difference is that uh, this is brand new. And um, so it looks brand new. Uh, it's not all beat up or there isn't any rust on it. But other than that, it's pretty much what, if she had restored this, let's say 20 years ago, this is probably what she would have restored it with. So it's about as accurate as we're able to get in recreating the cistern. As to the main roof here, this is the original structure which was built in the late 19th century by Miss Lassie's family. And this structure here was built in the 1940s by her brother and is made in a different technique entirely. This old wattle and daub structure, this was very common to have this sort of hip roof. And this zinc that's on top here this is old English zinc, which they stopped making about 50 years ago, or at least stopped bringing it into Cayman. It's very heavy, very strong, lasts a long, long time. The modern zinc that we have today is nowhere near as good. And we wanted to preserve it as much as we possibly could, just the way it was when she was alive. There are a number of minor problems all through the house where we'd have leakage or we'd have deteriorated materials. And as you can see, this is all old. This is from the 40s. And so 
when this deteriorates too much so that there's actually rain leaking in, which is what we had in a number of spots, we'd have to say to ourselves, well, what do we do about this? Do we stick with weather tightness, which we want to? And if we do so, that means we're going to have to cut away some of this old material and replace it with new. And so there's always a difficult value judgment with that. And throughout the, the construction work, uh, the engineer, Alan Viren, and I would be on site regularly discussing how far should we go. And, it was, and it's always a compromise one way or the other as to which one you stress the most to make sure that you have as, the best balance you can. Alan put a tremendous amount of time into those discussions and I think in most cases we came up with some good decisions. The great majority of the work on the building was done by um, a volunteer crew from uh, Phoenix Construction. Um, they were mostly carpenters, uh, project managers, uh, laborers, but people who did this for a living and yet they were prepared to come down here on weekends and do what they did during the week and do it for free. And they were incredibly cheerful about it and incredibly helpful. Miss Lassie's house really is uh, one of the rare lasting examples of a, a classic uh, Kamanian wattle and daub uh, cottage. Um, probably I could count the number of houses that are preserved and still operating in this condition on, on one hand. You might be lucky to get two hands, but certainly there's, there's less than probably a dozen homes as well preserved as this particular example. The house is roughly 30 feet by 16 feet, the original wattle and daub portion, and it's topped with a, a hipped roof, uh, very simply framed. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure whether this house had a thatched roof on it. It's quite possible it did. Um, it probably also had a wood shingle finish to it, but now obviously it has a, a corrugated zinc roof. On all sides it has the classic uh, wooden shutters uh, built in the days when we didn't have glass, we didn't have windows here, so the breeze and Today is a, a great time. You can probably see the wind blowing here when the house would be very uh, well refreshed and cooled down at, uh, at this time of day. My associate John Yeo and I uh, spent several days down here measuring the, the house, literally tape measuring the length, breadth, height, shape of it. And Going back to our office to draw the project up, we took uh, many, many photographs of the house and uh, have recorded that moment in time five years ago. And uh, the work that we, we produced, I think, has been well used by others, various conservationists, other consultants, specialized minds um, in advancing this project to, to where it is just now. It's not just a house. It, it, it answers it, it's, its architecture, it's, it's, it's Cayman vernacular architecture, it's traditional architecture. <laughs>